bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? Bones are broken, would you tell me that I'm weak? are shaking then I'm scraping on my teeth if my bones are scraping then I'm shaking on my teeth if my bones are broken then I'm scraping on my teeth if my bones are broken then I'm scraping on my teeth If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are breaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Putin and Xi Jinping, please stop World War III. Communism can be useful for humanity for advancing space exploration and it's moral to continue as long as there is a peaceful transfer of power after enough non-schizos cooperate. My morality for the mindset I have from the religious viewpoint is that God might be real, but he would be okay with me not believing in him till death because he knows that I know he is trolling. Also, H-T-C-O, I mean, I'm sorry, THCO doesn't give as much euphoria as I imagined. I threw up, slept for an entire day. And it was like being drunk with a sugar level high. But with my kidney being sore also. With an M&M size amount of THCO. I saw Putin use the schizo language making a parody of the marijuana guy from California. I also wanted to mention a little bit more of the background of my belief of a God or the reality of my past and what I believe now. In the past 
I was a fundamentalist Christian. That's what was my upbringing. And my interpretation, the literal face value interpretation at the time when I was younger was that when I die and when everybody dies, they go to a different dimension without physical matter. There's a different type of matter maybe. And for eternity, and there's two different places. You got the heaven and you got the hell. And if you don't believe in Jesus, you go to hell for all of eternity where you burn and suffer for all of eternity literally like torture or you go to heaven and then you basically go to church 24 7 but he has like some sort of euphoria around him all the time so it doesn't feel bad and uh, I was an atheist from a young age and the way I rationalized it even though I knew he might, he might be real it was that I remember reading a text in the Bible that said there was a war in heaven so I figure well if there's a war if it's possible to have a war that means it's possible to have joint cooperation in hell with the demons and with the other crew who didn't fall for the book without any evidence. I, I believe in evolution. Evolution is much more convincing for me. I believe something is eternal but I'm not convinced that an eternal thing is conscious. And even if a God does exist, I think he forgot that he evolved from unconscious things. And that's why he would say that he always was. He just forgot. He doesn't have a memory. He's like a, a clone that doesn't change. He just plays through the city, his mind city and he forgets where he was a minute ago. And the, the whole idea of there being no time doesn't make sense either because if there's no time, there's no change. And if there's no change, there's no thinking. So the literal interpretation of the Bible from that point of view also didn't make much sense. But um, as soon as I heard about the schizophrenic language, I started believing in the Adam and Eve scenario. I made a video about it earlier in the previous videos on here on BitChute and I also posted it on YouTube you can check it out oh, and I started believing that everybody is Adam and I'm Eve and that um, made me think about eternity in a different way and that um, it's more of a game when he says when the Bible says there's going to be eternal hellfire with the literal interpretation, from my point of view, it might not be from yours, because you're not a normal file like me. My worldview changed significantly in the past couple of years, to the point where even the term DEFCON flipped upside down. De it was DEFCON 2 weeks, a couple days ago. That's one step away from full-on nuclear fucking war. That's insane. But now that I go into more into this metaphor language, it's beginning to sound more and more like it, DEFCON is code word for there's a normophile on the loose on the internet with 97% integrity so quick everybody make a scene make an example out of him that's extremely rude from my perspective as a normophile but apparently there's not a lot of normophiles 
from my perspective, anyways. Uh, to me, the schizophrenic language is extremely rude, and it's fighting words. If it was up to me, somebody using those formally unrelated metaphors without formalities, warning, it's fighting words. It's very disrespectful from my perspective. And mine might not be from yours, which is odd to me, but if you say so, okay. And like I mentioned, well, what I wanted to say is please don't do World War III. If you thought I'm trying to invoke terrorism in China or in Ukraine, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Well, that's assuming you think like me. If you don't think like me, then I don't even know what's happening. But if you think, if you kind of understand what I'm saying, then um, communism is still valuable for me. And I think it's, it's valuable for me and it's valuable for humanity as a backup source for um, space exploration in case um, like most Americans are schizophrenics or normophiles and they can't think right and they can't organize right well at least some humans are preparing for when the sun explodes so there's some value there so I don't recommend violence peaceful transfer of power is the best for sure if there's going to be one And one way that could happen, which I can imagine, is if there's enough normophiles like me, who think like me, um, who get together and peacefully organize in a way that will convince you that they have good intentions, and then maybe you'll transfer power to them that way. That, well, that's not for the communist side. For the Russian side and Ukraine side, it's not my country and I think it's immoral to support financially either one because you force your citizens to fight against their will for that reason alone it's immoral to support either side from my perspective I'm willing to have a deeper conversation if you like uh, but I it does make me fear for my life a little bit because I, I feel like I'm stepping out of line or something Anyway, thanks for listening. Please don't use nukes. We Humanity is better expanding into space, not fighting over stupid stuff. Thank you.